for this week's build, we're going to do the rolling robot, the roly poly bot. He's got the little wheels that go around him so he can roll and move. So first thing, get all your parts together. Again, I love, love, love that this robot has the baggies with the labeled parts so you can keep them in the baggies. Most important, when you disassemble your robot, make sure you're putting the parts back in the right bags. It makes it so much easier for builds. So pull all your parts out, have them ready to go. The first step here, what you're doing is you're just going to assemble these little tracks and they fit right together to make your little wheels. So I'll show you up close here. They kind of just, they just really snap together. They fit in, they just fit right in together. Let's see, there we go. You just snap them together. So easy cheesy. Now the very the very last one, you're going to have four pieces that go together. So one, one side goes on top, the other side goes on the bottom. So your very last piece, you're going to have to kind of move it around, see there, so it fits and it holds all together really well. The next thing, you can take your robot's head off if you want. Sometimes it's easier, and eh, there it pops right off. Sometimes it's easier to build the robots without their head attached. Um, the necks can sometimes be a little frail. Um, I know we had somebody who had already broke one of the pieces of their neck, so just be careful with that. I would probably take the head off when you're doing the build. So this first part, we're gonna we're gonna attach these arms. So what these these little pieces here. They're going to support the wheel, keep it stretched and, and put into place. And so we have our little blue pieces there. The, our pegs are going to hold it in place. These can be kind of tricky to get inside the part sometimes. What I found is if you push down on the table, tapping doesn't work so much, but if you just push down really hard on the table or on a hard surface, it'll save your hands a little bit there because they can get hard to push in and that can hurt when you're doing it against your hand. So just push it down on the table, there we go, and it's in place where it's supposed to be. Um, now putting this in place, sometimes it's easier to attach all the blue pieces first before you attach it to the robot because um, they can, especially if you're having a hard time getting the blue pieces in, it's easier to put all the blue pieces on and then attach it. So like this one, now we have to figure out a way to get it attached inside while it's still attached to the robot. This would be a way that you could potentially break your robot not realizing it, just trying to fit everything there. So this little wheel here, this this piece is going to go on the wheel. It sits loose so it doesn't snap on or anything because this has the wheel, little wheel part, the gear does move. And so what we're going to do is we're going to attach the, the little peg <laughs> in there. And again, it can be tricky while it's attached to the robot. So I would just attach all the blue pieces first and then put the piece onto the robot. See again, using the table to press down, it just can get kind of tricky. When, and you definitely don't want to break anything on the base of the robot. So once you have that on there, your gear slides right on to the second one and you want to make sure it moves. It's moving fine, freely, everything like that. So you're good to go. Now you want to you're going to put this, this third peg in. This holds it in place because remember these two little arms we're adding on, those are there to support the wheel and, um, and hold it in place. So you want, you don't want that arm moving around. You want it stationary. Basically now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. That's one thing that's so nice about these robots is whatever you do on one side, you do on the next side. You, whatever you do on the front, you do on the back, the left, the right you do want to make sure you're using the right parts. So now that we have that on, we're going to add this gear. This is the gear, the track that's going to attach inside the wheel here, this, this frame, this circle frame, and that's what's going to make the frame move. So it's got the little pegs there that just will go along the track and that's what's going to move it. So now that you have the pieces in, go ahead and put your wheel frame on. And then now we're going to attach our tire. So this tire, this is, we remember when we built these, we put the little rubber band thing on the outside to give it a little bit of a tread. So this is what's going to make our robot move forward. It's going to be touching the ground and give it a little bit of tread. So we get our pegs in there 
And once we get our pegs in the, t in the wheel itself, we're going to attach the wheel to that black track that we just put on there, the, the gear that had, that's going to make the circle part. All these parts, I, you know, they need official names. <laughs> I probably should look at their official names. But we're going to attach the wheel now to that gear. And so when the gear turns and the wheel turns, it, and the track will move and it'll go in a circle. So pretty easy cheesy there. Now, once it's, once it's all attached, literally, this side's done. Now, so we're just going to flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. Oh, oh, we haven't added the arms yet. Sorry, sorry, we haven't added the arms. I guess we better put the arms in because, see, obviously, as soon as we flipped it over, those two little gears fell right off because they're not being held in place yet. So we want to hold those in place first. <laughs> Can't get ahead of ourselves. So now in order to hold those plate in place, we're going to attach these arms, these little, they look like little plastic gun pieces or something. So you're going to just attach one to both sides and there you go. Now the side is done and it does, I know it feels a little loose. You have to just make sure it's on the track, um, the circle track, this, the ring. But uh, basically at that point, now we are going to duplicate everything and just do the same thing on the other side. So again, really important that you're using the right parts for the right side, the front, the back, the top. That's one thing that can be frustrating with these robots, but if ever something doesn't work, you just check everything. Once you've got it assembled, go ahead and add your robot head back on and plug in your solar power. And there you go. Now we have our robot. And don't worry if those circle parts are a little loose. It will still move. You just gotta make sure it's on the tracks the first place. And as you can tell, it goes rocking away. And that is the roly-poly robot. Have fun building it.